Hey guys, and welcome to my Should You Buy new series that I think I'm going to do, where it's like a review on a game and an explanation of when I've played the game long enough to give you my opinion on whether it's worth your money to buy a game. So we're starting with Cube World. Cube World is an open world, endlessly generated in a voxel box art style, similar to that of Minecraft or Terraria, but focused on adventure and RPG elements inspired from Zelda or other games similar to that rather than focused on building, which is, you know, Minecraft. Cube World is a very, very recently released open alpha, and alpha means the game is far from complete, hugely lacking in what the creator aims to do, such as quests, story missions, and so on. These are just a few of the things the creator Wally has mentioned that what he wants to put in the game. Having said that, the game is so polished and brilliantly designed with so much in it on first alpha release compared to that of when Minecraft was first released to the public in alpha in a similar fashion. Saying that, compared to this, this is an exaggeration but I'm giving you a comparison. When Minecraft was released firstly in alpha, it had like four things you could do. And compared to Cube World, Cube World has hundreds. This is before any of the main bulk has been added so that really speaks volumes. This is a video game, and video games cost money. 9 out of 10 of the time, I mean, a game costs money, man. And many people seem to think it will be free. Many are also confused about buying the game to do with viruses and surveys, so I'm going to address that right now. The official website is linked in the description. It's called Picarama, and this is where you can create an account, buy the game, and download it legitimately on the official site. This is the only place where you can currently do this. It isn't on Steam, and it isn't on other things like Origin and whatnot. All others, all of the downloads, are either illegal cracked versions, of which I intensely find to be wrong and stupid, or simply virus sites where you have to do surveys, or literally it's just a virus you're downloading. I've noticed on my Cube World videos many spammers and bots going on about these websites, so I implore you to ignore these people and simply Google Cube World and find Picorama or just click the link in the description of every Cube World video I do, even this one. Now that's settled, let's actually talk about the game again. I believe this game to be strangely enjoyable for a lengthy play. Having played it all day with my friends, three days in a row, and not even scratched the surface, along with not even being remotely bored, it really does remind me of, like, Zelda in the best of ways. Just looking at the map looks great. Single player gameplay, however, can be limited. It is completely possible, and you can do it, but in no means is it anywhere near as fun as playing it multiplayer with some good friends. You could easily play it alone, but I feel like you're ignoring the main purpose of the game to do so. You can Google videos and guides on how to set up your server for your friends. Personally, it costs us nothing to set it up via Hamachi, which is a free application to connect to other IPs. So the real reason you're here is, should you buy the game? Short answer, yes. Long answer, yes. Because. With multiple friends, the game is outstandingly wonderful to play with great sense of humour and a brilliant art style. It's great to look at and interact with. It gives you a sense of adventure and you find yourself saying, let's go there when I see like a giant rock or a mountain or like a massive valley or a dungeon or a pyramid, rather than just going, let's go grind XP. I'm focused on the adventure rather than desperately trying to get higher level. However, to do with getting higher level, the talent system gives you a reason to progress, along with the uh, cool new armor and weapons, and also there's a brilliantly simple crafting system and dungeon exploring galore. A so far ridiculous amount of different animals, enemy types, and NPCs, and they have great interaction with each other. A good example of this would be heart flowers. Heart flowers are what you can collect around the world. They can be simply used to make health potions. You're now in an ice biome. There's no more heart flowers, but there are ice flowers. You simply need to warm the ice flower up to thaw it out of the ice so that it's now a heart flower so that you can now make a potion. Doesn't that make complete sense? And also make it kind of fun to make potions? I think so. Alone, this game is good fun for a little while. With friends, I can see myself playing this game for a very, very long time. So that's my opinion on the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed this style of video. I hope it was short and sweet and to the point, and I said everything you really wanted to hear about you know, the game and whether you should buy it. If you've enjoyed this style of video or found it useful or informative, let me know with a comment or a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.